Here we're going to look at some definition for relative extrema. So first step to finding relative extrema, two steps again, determine the critical numbers of a function. And that is by setting the derivative f prime of x equal to zero and solving for x. That was our first step when we looked at our example one uh, a couple pages ago. We took the derivative of x cubed. We set it equal to zero. And what makes a derivative zero or undefined is a critical number. And then we're going to determine the sign of the derivative to the left and right of each critical number. So we want to figure out these sign changes. So first sign change for a relative maxima. Let's draw a picture of a relative maxima off to the side here. Relative maxima is a positive to zero. This is our critical number. What makes the derivative zero to negative? We're getting lots of definitions on these first couple pages. So if we switch from a positive to negative derivative, as we move across the critical number C, we know we have a relative maxima. On the other hand, what sign change do we need for a relative minima? Well, let's draw a picture next to here. We want a relative min. We want a low point on the graph. Here's our critical number where the derivative is zero. And we need something that's decreasing to increasing. So we want a negative derivative to a positive derivative as we move across our critical number C will give us a relative minimum. And we want to remember if the derivative sign does not change, if we go from decreasing to decreasing like we did on the page before, right? We just saw decreasing to decreasing. We did not get a relative max or min when that happened at our critical number. Then we just don't have a relative extrema there. So let's go back to our first example, that x cubed, and determine any relative extrema and label our critical number in there. Just add in some extra pieces. So flipping back to this page here, a critical number of a function is any number in the domain of f that makes the derivative zero or makes it undefined, makes its denominator zero. So it has to be in the domain of the original function, has to be able to go into the original function and make the derivative zero or undefined. So for this one, our critical number is at x is zero. That's what made the derivative zero, made f prime equals zero, and it can go into the original function. That's the two things we would check to be a critical number. Does it make the derivative zero and does it go into the original function? So then do we have any relative extrema? So we want to look for our sign change. So if we draw this picture off to the side here, so we would want to draw something that is increasing, zero derivative, and then increasing again. This might not be exactly what it looks like, but just representing this change of a positive derivative. Here's our critical number where the derivative is zero, and then it just goes positive again. So that's not the sign change we need. There's no sign change. So there's no relative maximum. Remember, we drew it on this page as well. We would need increasing to decreasing to be a max or decreasing to increasing to be a min. And we don't have that on this example. So for this one, we would say no relative extrema. Kind of a boring example because we don't have any sign change. It's increasing to a zero derivative to increasing again. But we'll look at more examples where we see some sign change and are able to make conclusions about extrema.